Today I'm going to share another card tutorial and I'm picking out papers from DCWV's Nana's Kids. I'm picking out a blue and a green and they are embossed polka dot. This brown card stock is by Recollections and I folded it to five and a half by four and a quarter. And this card stock's kind of neat because it has this texture on it and it kind of just came that way which is really neat. So I'm going to use this blue to create a sky background. It is really fun to use pattern papers that have the same pattern but are in different colors. The fun thing about pattern papers that have embossing on them, depending on if it's writing or not, you can flip the pattern paper over and then you'll have a debossed showing instead. And that's another way to incorporate different textures. And then I'm going to line this green up and kind of find out about where I want to make my line here. And I'm going to draw on the back of it some grass and then I'm going to cut it out. And because the grass is my own creation, I don't have to cut out exactly on the lines there are more guidelines to help me out. And then I'll be able to use that other half for another card. And to keep my grass from being so symmetrical, I'm going to cut a slight curve into it so it's a little more grass-like. And I want this a little wavy because I'm kind of making a scenery. And I'm ready to adhere this down. I could use pop dots for this, but I am going to have stickers over it, so I want this to be flat with the card. But I have made another variation with the grass in the background and grass in the foreground on pop dots, and it provides more dimension to the scenery which is really cute. All right, and then I'm going to take this blue and cut out a, an arch. I'm going to glue it down at the bottom of the page and it's going to represent like a pond or a pool of water. And these cute little embellishment stickers are from Recollections. This is actually the second card I've made with this sticker set. I made another one with some of the other dinosaurs and it turned out really cute. I just had to make another version of it. So in Dino World, a T-Rex and a Brontosaurus are probably bigger than a Triceratops, so he's going to go in front and the bigger dinosaurs in back. That way my scenery looks a little more believable because the size proportions are more accurate. So kind of keep that in mind when you're making scenery cards or page layouts. I thought it would be cute to have the T-Rex kind of look like he's having a snack on the brontosaurus's tail. I'm going to write out a sentiment. I'm using a metallic blue jelly roll and I'm writing out happy birthday. And always make sure that when you are writing out something towards the bottom of the page that you leave enough room for letters like Y's that hang below. So you want to have make sure you have enough room for those. And this card will be perfect for a little boy or uh, someone who really likes dinosaurs. Right, so on the blue part, I'm actually drawing out a cloud and I'm going to cut this out and I want to have it flipped over where the white side's facing up. So I'll have a play with the polka dots, even though it'll be debossed instead of embossed, but it'll 
the white cloud will fit in with the pattern paper. And I'm gonna cut this little knob off because it looks a little weird. Alright, and then this I actually want to have raised up so there's some shadowing behind it. So I'm going to use some pop dots. Right, and we have a cute little birthday card for any young boy, maybe girl. Super cute though, I love it. And these cards are for sale at my Etsy shop if anybody is interested. It'll, it's my actual first card posted in my Etsy. Uh, I have a lot of jewelry in there, but this is my first card. I plan on posting more, just need to get around to it. Wrong side of the bed I should have stayed in bed And slept all day instead There ain't no profit in this day That lies ahead These blurry images Alright, and I want to express my gratitude For everyone who's watched this video And Especially those who favored it. It's so exciting to see my videos favorited on your channels. So thanks guys for watching and commenting and, and hanging out with me. Of course these videos will keep on coming as long as I've got my friends to watch them. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like Black Cat Scraps Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. Come shop with me. Follow my blog for extra goodies and more details on the videos I post.